What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Fountain of Youth. So, uh, my initial plan for, well, at least for the beginning of the episode was to get back to the back to the main base and um, upgrade the tannery workbench. But the problem with that is that uh, the uh, where's the improved one? Uh, there it is. So that that takes a copper tank to to upgrade. I have all the all the other stuff for it, but uh, apparently to make the make the copper tank, you need to make the smelter, which I you know also have all the stuff for. Uh, but you need two two pieces of. Um, copper to make the copper ingot which i'm assuming is gonna unlock the um uh the copper bowl tank whatever it was and uh i i only yeah the copper tank and and i only got one from the from the shipwreck over there so i i can't do that but uh i did go back and get situated a little bit better so i like uh, hauled a lot of stuff from here over there and uh, made made some more of these treated formic acids because at the moment it looks like that's the only only thing that's gonna keep me from overheating over here and uh, uh, I I don't really want to burn through all of my water speaking of I, I brought pretty much all the water I could <laughs> from over there it still hasn't rained here at all so I'm, I'm guessing this this island isn't gonna see any any rain oh and the birds back apparently so um, oh yeah and I also made some uh, made some coffee which gives us 60 energy and 35 water and um, I'm probably gonna take a couple of these berry compotes with me just for the well mainly for the water but also also for the energy but uh, yeah, so today I figured we're gonna go and explore the north side here. So I'm thinking like it looks like there's a passage over here, pretty close to where I first came on on this island. So I figured we'd go up here and see see if we can like well, let's just get messy. Uh, see if we can get like these interesting places here. And uh, I see there's a couple of cartographer trees, so I'm gonna bring bring some rope with me but uh yeah we'll see see how far we can oh, how far we can go today so uh yeah it's uh it's kind of getting getting to the evening so i'll uh, bring you guys back in the in the morning bright and early all right looks like the sun's coming up now so i went ahead and filled up all my food and water and uh, I'm not really gonna worry about the food at the moment as much, which might be a <laughs> mistake, but what are you gonna do? So here's what I'm bringing with me. I got the uh, mapping charcoal, the obsidian knife, pickaxe, wood shovel, uh, one flask of water. I got a couple of obsidian shards, which I went back to the original island and uh, picked up like 10 of those. The, the stuff still hasn't respawned over there much. I got like three pieces of uh, obsidian from the three, um, what do you call it, like nodes up there. So then I got the rope, got some, uh, oh yeah, I made this uh, powder from snakes and spiders, which cures a lot of a lot of stuff, like four ranks of uh, poisoning, four ranks of like the stomach problems and protects from pests and like all, all that stuff. So... I, I th figured I might as well bring those in case I, I get poisoned. And I got the formic acid, which I'm going to actually use because it's... Uh... Ow! What the hell? That's rude. Oh, now you're stuck in there. Come here. Damn bird. Well, that was rude. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to use the use the formic acid as soon as I leave the base so hopefully that should uh, last for the whole day and uh, keep me from overheating then I got a couple of bandages just in case and and the berry compote for the for the water and energy since it's it's gonna go bad pretty soon so 
Figured I might as well. So let's use that. Now we should be should be all protected. And I think that's looks like there's a hole in the in the rock wall there, so I'm assuming that's gonna be the pathway up, so see how this goes. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I killed has uh has respawned over here, so I have to keep an eye on a and an ear up. Oh yeah, looks like that's uh Definitely a way to go. But it looks like I'm going to have to cut some of these. Some of these bushes. But at least I brought the... Uh, brought the obsidian with me to... Oh, hello. With me to um, fix up the axe if I, if I need to. Oh, I don't like this... Uh, these long bushes here. They... Kind of uh, prevent me from seeing anything on the ground, so. Uh, is there anything here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, can I get something from these? Oh, looks like I can. Prickly pear, okay. And that gives me some cactus. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, looks like we got a new blueprint from that, so. Let's see here. Where's the... Oh, now we can make the alcohol. Okay. Looks like we need a lot more cactus compared to the agave, but... That shouldn't be an issue, so I can just run up here. Oh, let's, uh, let's get the stone just in case I need to fix up or make make a new pickaxe. Because I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some uh, some more copper somewhere around here. Because that's the main main thing I currently need. But I'm not a huge fan of how these uh, little bushes kind of block the view around here. So I'm probably going to get jumped pretty soon. <laughs> but what else is new? Oh, I hear something. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, let's see, where are we on the map? Okay, so it looks... Oh, there's a pineapple somewhere here. I don't think I've had any... Any pineapples yet. Is there something... Huh. Thought that was gonna be something. Oh, there's the pineapple. Let's see, that gives me some other recipe. So what do I... What can I make now? I can make the sweating potion. Okay. Uh, helps to treat overheating. Okay. Overheating, sunstroke, etc. And the flu. Well, the flu hasn't really been an issue, and I feel like the, um, the formic acid is cheaper, because... Oh, god damn, Tegus. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the formic acid is, is cheaper, because the, um, the sweating potion seem to take alcohol so I don't know maybe it's just so much better or something but oh it looks like there's a there's a some sort of, sort of a tower up there so uh, but here's the it should be somewhere around here or maybe it's down there oh I don't think I want to jump down from here hmm yeah and I, I don't know if I can get there from here. I see something green over there. Let's see if I can do this without breaking my breaking my bones here. Uh oh these are the mushrooms that we needed for the for one of the things. I forget what it is. Oh the mushroom soup, yeah. And it gives me a chance to improve digestion 44 food, 55 water, okay, and restores health too. That actually seems like a pretty, pretty decent food, but also because all the ingredients spoil, so I don't know how, um, it looks like there's a, there should be living water somewhere around here. 
Oh, there it is. Let's get some more of that. Definitely. But yeah, because all the uh, all the soup ingredients spoil over time, so uh, it feels like it's oh, saw you, little bugger. It's uh, I don't know. It, it feels like it might be a little bit of a ow. Okay, well, let's not go up there then. Um, what? A bit more work to. I'm still gonna get these tegu huts, even though I don't have uh, have any way of using them now. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if the uh, if the mushroom soup is worth all the all the gathering, un unless I can get all the ingredients on this island. But still haven't seen any of the uh, uh, other mushrooms. I think it was the buff ball or something. Yeah, puff ball mushroom. Because I can get the fruit of the earth and and apparently the tri tricoloma over here, but so far I haven't seen any uh, any of the puff balls elsewhere. But the starter island cave and there was only like two of them in there. So oh, what do we have here? Which way are we going? Oh, I went the complete opposite way. Oh, peeking tegus. So thank you. Oh, I might have to uh, do something here to get my health up a little bit, because I'm a little bit low, so... It's only... Oh, I didn't bring any... Well... <sighs> I didn't bring any, like, actual healing items with me. So... Because I got a couple of those coral bandages, and... I think I got one, like, first aid kit in the... In the chest there, but let's, uh... Let's just try not to die then, <laughs> I guess. Let's see what we can see up here. Uh, oh, interesting. No, no bird's nest up here. Let's get to the highest spot without falling off. Thank you. And let's start the the mapping. And let's do the mapping again, since we didn't get the double. There we go. And apparently I'm over... Oh, I'm overheating I already. Oh, does that not, like, uh... Oh, that might be an issue. I thought the formic acid, uh, kind of prevented overheating, but it might be that it's only treating it, so... I still got the freaking... No, oh, come on, get, out. get down from the tree. So, uh... Yeah, I might, uh, might be in a little bit of bother here when it comes to the drink, but uh, what are you going to do? Looks like there's an interesting side over there, but let's go, go and explore this area first. So we have to go this way and hang a right, it looks like. But yeah, the, the sun is really really brutal over here. I definitely need some some better clothes or something. Oh, there's a lot of bones here. That doesn't look promising. Oh. Heard you. Uh, I really shouldn't. Probably shouldn't be taking all the hides, but I have no idea how many of those I'm, I'm gonna need and what I, what I can do with them, because if I can use them for, like, better, uh, Better clothing or something, then. That's definitely something I want to be able to do, because the... Like, dealing with the, um... With the water loss is, is a real issue, because the, um... The, um... Water goes down, like, 3.6 an hour. And that's... That's really bad. <laughs> Do we have anything over here? Nope. Oh, and I forgot to bring my torch. No, that's not great. Uh, oh, aloe. Can we use the aloe to heat, like, uh, shields from the from the heat or something? Let's see. Uh, roasted mushrooms. Okay, so I can. 
I'm pretty sure the yellow set that I unlocked something. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I can use it to make the herbal mask, but I need a piece of leather, which I can't do because I can't upgrade my tannery. At least I think I need the upgraded tannery for that because I, I need the piece of leather to fix up my backpack, which is the... Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh-oh, I might actually be in trouble here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not great. Oh, boy. That was, uh... Oh, I got an achievement. Hey, kitty. <laughs> well, that's not good. Did I get... Oh, I actually didn't get hurt, but I'm definitely gonna have to run back to the... To the outpost and get like an actual healing, healing uh, item with me. Uh, what can I get from this guy? Jaguar tendons. Okay, got a trophy. Jaguar hide. Not gonna worry about the meat, but I'll definitely take those. Oh, and my <sighs> knife is broken. Well. Let's do that then. Uh, hmm. I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not too happy with my health situation at the moment. Uh, tell you what, I'll run... Oh, here's some... Hold on, hold that thought. Oh, wow, 12 copper from one. But it's heavy as hell, so... I'm gonna bring as much as I can. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like I can carry three pieces at the moment, but uh, yeah, so I, I, uh, I'll run back to the base, probably, yeah, sleep through the night and get healed up and uh, bring some health items with me. And I'll try to remember to grab the um, grab the torch with me and uh, I'll meet you guys back over here on, unless something catastrophic <laughs> happens on the on the way. I'll, I'll keep recording, but if if there's nothing exciting happening, then I'll just bring you guys back here. Freaking animals everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna be over, over and come, well, those are gonna have to just wait over here. Except for the little run-in with the uh, Tegu and uh, and the Harpy, I made it back to the back to the base. Okay. Oh, what? I just killed the scorpion. How's it back? Okay. Uh, so, like I was saying, let's let's try this again. So I healed up as much as I could, and I also used one of those coral bandages too get some health back while we're looking around here, but I think I can get back to where I was through here. But I think there's a Tegu around here because I just ran through in the evening and tried to avoid him, but now it looks like it's gonna cause some issues here. Come on. There you go. Good night. Okay, so if I can get up here, maybe. There we go. There was, uh, yeah, there was a snake over here too. And uh, yeah, I found this uh, this ruin while I was coming through here. So uh, let's uh, get some pineapples because they seem to be pretty good to eat. Like they um, give us some some okay food and water. They're not the greatest, but you know. I'll, I'll take what I can. Looks like there's a... Oh, there's a human skeleton. Lovely. And a bamboo flask. Well, it's free, so might as well. Hmm, not really seeing much over here. 
Let's uh let's check the map so looks like there's a bunch of uh bunch of like uh pineapples and dragon fruits and stuff which I'm not really all that interested. Uh but yeah, let's let's get back to the spot where the jaguar jumped us. I'm hoping that that's the only one over there. Otherwise, I'm definitely going to be in some trouble. <laughs> But uh yeah, let's let's see what we can we can see here. Okay, so there's some strong branches or the big branches and Oh what thought I heard something. Getting paranoid over here. Uh what's this? Oh this is another cannonball tree. Actually the cannonball fruit are are good to eat too, so Let's get those from there and then check the uh, check the altar up here. And I'm definitely gonna come back off off camera and get the get the copper from that mine over there. So oh, here we go. There's a buffalo potion and some obsidian. Don't need the bone, but what is the um? Nope, wrong button. What does the jaguar potion do? Oh, health regen, 144 cures all ranks of diseases. Well, that's really good, but uh, I don't really want to waste the healing at the moment because I still should have the health recovery going for a couple more hours, so that should be should be okay. Hopefully, famous last words. Oh, I got a perk point. Uh, Songs of the Buffaloes, the greatest craft, greatest craftsmen of all four tribes were the buffaloes. Skillful, skillful were their hands, watchful were their eyes, and ingenious were their mind, minds in creating the best weapons and the best tools. The strongest boats were made by their axes, the most solid houses were built by their hands. The most accurate tools were invented by their bright minds. And there were no better builders and craftsmen uh, among the four tribes than ones of the buffaloes. Okay. Well, that's neat. Uh, oh yeah, the perk point. Let's see if I can... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get the thirst control, because at the moment that seems to be my... my biggest problem. I'm, I'm doing okay on the food, and not really worried about the poison at the moment. That probably comes bite me in the ass but uh let's let's learn the thirst control and uh, let's check the map here and yeah there's the copper i'm not really seeing seeing much else here so let's see if we can get over there somewhere and see what the uh yeah, it's this way. So there's a bed up there somewhere. And an interesting sight, so... That's gonna be interesting. Is it up top here? Well, there's the mapping tree. Or do I have to find some sort of a cave around here? Huh. Looks like it might be... Might be down here somewhere. Oh, that's that's a deep fall. I think I might have to actually come over here with the boat and yeah, yeah, we'll have to have to bring the canoe around and uh and see what's in that cave there. I'm thinking like uh doing a whole black water exploration video at some point. Maybe next time depending on if uh, if I'm going to be able to upgrade my um, uh, tannery so I can finally fix up my backpack, which has been broken like four months in-game or something. Uh, looks like there's some more cactus over here. Oh, these trees. Have I... Well, apparently I've been here, but... Oh, these are just dead trees. Gives us sticks. And there's some more of those mushrooms, which I'm not gonna... 
not gonna pick at the moment because they're just gonna spoil. Let's get some of this and I should probably... Oh, thought I heard something. Oh yeah, I did. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, let's... Oh yeah, these give good water, so let's get one of those and uh, one of these and should be should be good and let's just keep getting the hides i really hope i'm gonna need <laughs> need a lot of those hides because otherwise i've been just collecting them for nothing do i see something move in the tall grass over there well i think i found the uh may have found the camp here i really hope there's not going to be another jaguar over here because yeah, there we go. Found the camp, so let's get into the shade for now. And apparently I've... At some point I got overheating again, so... Let's, let's do that. Oh, here's a diary of Poncho de Leon. Let's see what that gives us. The storm took the lives of many members of the San Cristobal crew, including the captain. But the ship reached the final destination of the expedition. Instead of the island, the sailors found an impassable chain of rocks and dangerous currents. They called it the B-Mini Belt. After unsuccessful attempts to pass the B-Mini Belt, the ship was badly damaged and in need of urgent repairs. First mate Fernan, who had become the new leader, decided to stop near one of the large islands. Fernan organized the construction of a temporary camp there in order to find resources to repair the San Cristobal, as well as to search for other survivors who could be on the islands nearby. A few days later, the survivors arrived themselves! Juan Ponce de Leon was accompanied by sailors from the Santa Maria. Once again, the commander encouraged his comrades in the success of the expedition. During the assembly, Fernand showed pieces of copper ore that had been found on the island. If enough copper could be found, it was possible to repair and strengthen the San Cristobal and continue the expedition. The crew decided to go in search of copper ore deposits. The next morning, Fernand Delgado and Juan Ponce de Leon as the most experienced explorers left the camp. All right. Doesn't look like uh, it went all, the, all that well, judging by the skeletons in the base or the around the camp. But uh, let's see what we have here. The Diary of Ponce de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon, Expedition to the Fountain of Youth, AD 1513. The San Cristobal escaped. As we reached this big island, we saw the caravel at anchor. The fact that the San Cristobal had lost us in the fog before the storm had saved it. And now the ship is here, so the expedition goes on. Sailors of the San Cristobal told us about the Ring of Reeves around Bimini, or the Bimini Belt as they named it. It is clear that this belt is not so easy to cross. We need to study it closely. The pilot says that the belt can be crossed with skill and knowledge of the local weather. Well, at least now we know our immediate goal. Uh, sailors of the San Cristobal told us that they saw a strange building that looked like, looked like a temple right in the middle of the sea on their way here. Uh, there are also div several different cur currents converging on its location. I think I have to study it closely. There may be some clues to help uh, help in decrypting the map. We'll sail there as soon as the ship is ready. Fernan organized the camp work and helped to form the search parties. He's a very talented person and a pretty useful assistant. Moreover, he found found copper on the island, which is why we call it Copper Island. That can be used for repairing the ship. Tomorrow, with the first ray of sun, we'll leave and head to it. Okay. 
But yeah, the the blood spatter and the and the skeletons around here doesn't seem like it uh, worked well for the for the crewman left behind. Uh, what can we get here? Just the sticks again. Oh, looks like there's a map of Copper Island. Okay. This map shows the location of Copper Ore Mine, which Ponce and Fernan were headed to. Okay, so it looks like it's like at the other edge of the our base is somewhere around here. So it looks like it's as far north as I can pretty much go on the island. Uh, let's see, is there anything else around? It looks like there's a special object here somewhere still. But I'm still kind of uh oh look at this. There's a tanner workbench and a skin dryer. That's cool. And a woodworking bench. Huh. Guess I guess I'd need to build my own <laughs> outpost on this island, but what are you gonna do? Oh looks like there's a Book of Washwomen by Nicholas Flamel. Okay. And that oh gives us a repairing effect. That's uh that's definitely something I'm gonna read as soon as I get back to the Oh, I see you, Snake. Yeah, as soon as I get back to my, my base. Not gonna worry about the snake tails at the moment. Uh, did I get everything here? Yeah, looks like it. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's probably gonna do it for this episode. Uh, real quick, let's check the um, check the next step or the next goal for the for the storyline here. So the captain's camp, according to the Santa Maria ship's log. Captain Poncho de Leon left for an unknown big island nearby. It's time to follow him. And link document the logbook of Santa Maria, which I'm pretty sure I just read. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm, apparently I've already read that, so... Yeah, if you ended up enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my friends, link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. And for today's extra content, I uh, figured I'd uh, read this book with you guys. Let's uh, let's see what this is. Uh, a treatise written by a famous European alchemist in the form of a comparison of some alchemical works with the stages of processing, washing, and caring for the cloth. And uh, I should be good on my energy, food, and water for reading this thing. So, let's see what effect we get. Reduced repair duration also applies to vessel repair. Okay, and what's my reduced repair duration then? Let's see, crafting, cooking, skinning, throwing, repairing. There we go. So, the duration. Oh, well. That wasn't all that exciting, but uh, <laughs> yeah. See you guys next time.